Hey guys, it's Jim with Styrene Monkey. Well, it's been two and a half weeks now since Acme. Uh, getting the fever back to get something new on the bench. Uh, if you haven't been to Acme yet, you need to put it on your bucket list. You need to go. I'll tell you what, had an awesome time. Uh, a lot of YouTubers were there. Uh, I'm not going to mention a whole lot of people because I know I'll forget some. Uh, Charlie Mack, you know, Tom from Rambler 69 and Rick Scott from Heartbeat Model Shop. Uh, George from One Vision. I think even saw Jeff from Jeff's Model Garage was there. Did not bring the ferrets, of course. Uh, oh, God. Fred Henry. Quite a few people was there. Uh had a great, great time. Uh, if you haven't been to Acme, you need to go. Uh, it's worth it. I already got my reservations for next year. Uh, it's a great show. It's a great show. But anyway, let's get back to what's on the bench build here. This is the 2007 Ford Mustang uh, Shelby GT500. Uh, I've had this kit for oh, a couple years now. I've been trying to get some things together here to get this build going. I wanted to get everything together before I started building it. And um, I wanted to paint it an orange color. I didn't want to do the original red or white or blue as they usually come. In 2007, this Mustang also came in an orange. I'm, I got a feeling the name of it was a hugger orange at the time, but it was kind of like almost a creamsicle orange. I wanted to make it a little bit brighter. Splash Paint had the paint that I was looking for, which they were also at the show at Acme here just a few weeks ago. And um, I haven't had so much luck with their paint. Uh, I've been putting using Tamiya Primer out of the can, the rattle can, and I would put this Splash Paint on, and it would eat right to the plastic. I would rough it up like sandpaper. I would I ruined, I think, maybe about two model builds using splash paints. I didn't understand what was going on. Maybe it was my technique. I, I really didn't know what this, what was going on. So when I was at Acme, I talked to them about it and what it was all along was using the wrong primer. You need an automotive grade primer for their, their paints. And uh, he did have it there at the show. Um, just a plain automotive primer. They charge about eight bucks for this bottle. You pour it right out of the bottle into the gun no mixing, no nothing, just pour it right in there, and it came out smooth as glass. Uh, it is worth the $8. Um, it, it's great. The stuff goes on like butter, like butter. So he didn't have the orange I was looking for at the show, so when I got home, went ahead and ordered this uh, Twister Orange that they have. Uh, I liked it. It was a little bit brighter than the uh, original OEM orange that they did make. Went ahead and ordered it online, had it at home here in two days. Boom, it was here. And so I'm getting all my stuff together, getting ready to do this build. And I wanted to use black stripes on this, black racing stripes. I didn't want to go with the blue. And I didn't, it comes, and the kit comes with the blue and white stripes in this kit. I wanted black stripes. So we did some research online. Did some looking. Uh, some people have what I was looking for, but they were out of stock. Several people. So I went to another company. Found it. It was in Japan. Plamoz. P-L-A-M-O-Z is the company that makes this kit. And as they, they came in yesterday in the mail, finally got them. Uh, there was some other decals that come in this setup for the seats. I don't know what that entails yet, but that's what we're going with. The uh, orange and black theme here. Went ahead and use those and see how they work. And um, also, when I was at Acme about two years ago, there was a gentleman there selling some aftermarket parts. Uh, it was for this kit, actually. It was for this Ford Mustang kit. And I found this. It's by K and or KA Models. Uh, it's a photo etch detail set. Uh, comes with the uh, pewtered calipers and the disc and the grill and so on and so on. Uh, got the grill here for the door, uh, the grill for the back. 
of, through the window there, the speaker grills and some door panels and the Cobra logos, wiper blades and such. But I thought that would be a, a great kit to spice this up, you know, this photo watch kit to spice it up a little bit to get that going and get everything together here. And we're going to get that rolling. But as I started to get this kit together, uh, I noticed that when I put the hood on, I like to do a little bit of dry fitting before I start doing things, if there's any sanding to do before painting. And there was so much slop in this hood, from the body to the hood, there was gaps in there. It was it was awful. So uh put my mind at work, uh, started doing some thinking, and went to uh, the local hobby shop and... Got some of this uh, Evergreen Scale Models, uh, the Styrene here, Strip Styrene. This size I bought is 0 0.015 by one, thousand, one hundredth of an inch. So it's 0 0.15 by one hundredth of an inch. And, um, you know, it was just the right thickness. Got a piece here I want to show you. Went ahead and took some of the uh, Tamiya Extra Thin glue. Just put a bead across the side there, glued this on there, cut off the excess. Um, once I got it on there and I got it all dried up, took an X-Acto knife, cut the, the bottom and the top sides pretty much almost level with the uh, hood, and then just took a sanding stick and feathered it down in there and did that on both sides. And I tell you what, guys, it took the, the, the gap right out of there. Went ahead and hit it with some of this primer by Splash, and uh, it came out great. So went ahead and that fixed that issue we had with that part of the kit. Um, so we're going to go next here. The next step is we're going to go ahead and uh, spray this uh, Twister Orange on here and see how it lays down and how it comes out. Get the stripes on, get a clear coat put on it, and then we'll start uh, doing the interior. And uh, by the way, went ahead and did the uh, the engine first. You know, these more modern cars, they don't have a whole lot of detail in them like the cars from the 60s or 70s and such they it's just a plain motor i did uh, add a uh, o2 sensor here with a line with some wire uh to add a little bit more to it and there are some photo etch pieces that go on here but i'm not going to put them on until we get this into the chassis because we won't don't want to knock some things off but did put some photo etch uh bolt heads on there on the head and everything but uh that's where i with that so the next video, we'll come back with uh, it all painted and striped up. But until then, guys, I hope you're having a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.